Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 29th, 2021. Well, yesterday we had kind of a choppy, ugly session. We were kind of expecting that. Um, with the FOMC keeping its pedal to the metal, they are, well, they're going to keep interest rates near zero. They plan to buy $120 billion in bonds per month. And um, we had blowout earnings reports from Apple and Facebook after the close. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's settle in, buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. I hope you all had a great afternoon, great evening. Um, we have <clears throat> all signs showing us more bullishness coming in the market. We had the president rolling out nearly $4 trillion in new spending last night. We have um, a blowout, and I mean blowout earnings from the big tax. And we have um, blue skies above in these charts. So index charts, <clears throat> We obviously have been in a consolidation period here for the last couple of weeks, but let's keep in mind overall our trends are bullish and all we need is that inspiration to push on through. Now, what I'm seeing right now in the diamonds is we are not able, at least at this point, we're not gonna break out to new highs yet this morning, albeit we are going to push up on um, some good um, earnings results. The question will be, will we have some follow through this morning? Um, we have seen before where we gap up in the morning and then find nothing but sellers and we end up with that pop and drop. Not suggesting that could happen today, but just suggesting we have to kind of stay on our toes and, and keep that in mind as a possibility. One of the things that's been pretty interesting is even though we're getting these tremendous earnings reports, I mean just blowout earnings reports, we're not seeing massive follow through in price. So kind of an interesting situation here for the market. We're going to have to really stay on our toes. Now, let's notice we have this little teeny tiny downtrend here in the diamonds we've been chopping along sideways in this wide wide range that i've been talking about and we're holding on to a level of price support but let's notice the fact that if we were to happen to slip and fall here that possibility that we could drift lower pretty easily however i think all of the signs point to upside today but we're going to have to watch that closely to see if there's enough energy um, in the market to actually follow through. So keep an eye on that. Um, we could push right on through that little downtrend and start moving to the upside. If we slip and fall, there could be a bit of a problem because we could give up support and trend at the same time. And then we might be down here, you know, seeking out those next levels of potential price support in the chart. So just keep a close eye on that. Anything is possible. Um, today is one of the biggest days of earnings that we are going to see this quarter. So keep that in mind. A lot of data coming our way. Let's take a look at the SPY now. SPY is doing much, much better with more of the techs, big techs um, in the SPY than in the Dow, we are seeing the SPY trying to stretch higher. Now, I wanna to continue to remind everyone that we are very, very stretched out in the short term on the chart. We're a long ways from substantial price supports. And let's just keep in mind how painful it would be if we just pulled back to retest these lows. But right now we've got those bulls pushing forward. We've got a new record high in the making at the open here. Assuming um, we can get past those economic reports um, in a positive way this morning, we should um, see a nice bullish open here, breaking that consolidation for that upside move. Let's take a look. Um, one thing I do want to remind you though is just how far extended we are away from our 50, our moving averages. We are really stretched up here. So make sure that you don't become complacent 
um, in the market thinking this will never ever come down because I guarantee you it will and my fear is when it does come down it's going to be harsh and it's going to be very painful so just um, stay on your toes and stay vigilant to your rules. Let's take a look at the QQQ. Now the QQQ also very, very bullish in this upside trend. There's just no doubt about it. And we've been consolidating here for the last couple of weeks, but let's keep in mind that, whoops, Let's keep in mind that we have more upside potential coming here in the market this morning with those big tech blowouts. So very high possibility of a record high open here on the NASDAQ. Now let's make sure that we see some follow through trading before you jump in. We don't want to end up catching that pop and drop. Um, I'm not suggesting that that could occur, just the possibility is there and make sure that you're staying very, very focused here on the price action and realizing that we are quite stretched in this index. Now, we do have, whoops, this darn thing. We do have the um, uh, nice situation where we've held this level right in here on that chart and that gives us some bullishness uh, to look forward to and we also have this little rising low right here so as long as we can have those um, those bulls pushing through following through we may have some nice upside coming in the market so keep a close eye on that looking pretty good so far let's take a look at IWM now IWM interestingly enough had a, a pretty good day yesterday pushing on through we saw some energy uh, from the financials XLF pushing on up yesterday it looks like that might even extend today so those financials finally coming around we had kind of a muted result on those earnings reports but we're finally starting to push through on those and then energy um, saw a nice surge yesterday after oil numbers actually showed to build in supplies which was but less than expected so a um, little bit surprising that we surged as much as we did, but um, nice move here in oil. And so with financials and energy sector moving up, that's helping IWM. And we've got a pretty good chart here in IWM breaking through this resistance. We still have resistance up in this area that we're trying to test and break through today. Keep a close eye on that. And then of course we still have a top before we make those record highs in IWM. But we certainly couldn't rule out that possibility that that could occur with all the bullishness we see in the market right now. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX just kind of uh, limping along here, ho-humming it um, yesterday. We've kind of been stuck in a range between the, um, the lows here and that um, support breakdown um, that we saw um, last month here in um, the VIX. So let's keep a close eye on that. Today with the bulls coming in, I would suspect that that will drive down. We'll want to watch for that and maybe even that possibility that we could push down through the lows. Now that would be a good sign for the VIX. What we don't want to see is we don't want to see that breaking this downtrend um, any point in time to, to the upside. And a pop and drop could create that. If we pop up in the morning and just don't see any seller or buyers after that, we could see that fear um, perk up. But Let's just watch carefully um, for um, that possibility of a shift. But right now, I've got to, everything's leaning toward the side of the bulls. Uh, Fed spending, government spending, uh, blowout earnings, just tremendous, uh, tremendous bullish key signals in there. Now, we do have some other clues out there that are suggesting maybe a little caution should be in the way. Let's take a look at T2122. Now, our T2122, the four-week new high, new low ratio, we continue to remain up here in this bearish reversal zone. And this morning with the gap up, I suspect we could be rallying even more and stretching this pretty tight to the top side. So keep a close eye on that. As we continue to stretch and continue to stretch here, we want to watch for that possibility that um, we, we turn and go the other way, just a little bit of profit taking 
that could come into the market. So watch that closely. I'm not suggesting that's going to happen, that we're going to reverse or anything like that. But we just have to pay attention to the fact that we are continuing to extend um, these indexes higher and higher and higher. And that is putting some pressure here on the T2122 indicator, suggesting a reversal could happen at any time. So make sure you stay on your toes. Let's um, take a look at our T2101. Now T2101 continues to be a little bit of a concern for me where we're not seeing, we're pressing and pressing and pressing these highs in the market, but we're really not seeing that absolute breadth pick up that much. Now it's nice the last couple of days we saw a little lift to the upside, but let's kind of keep in mind that we didn't lift in the market the last couple of days. As a matter of fact, we saw a lot of resting and pulling back. So we're actually gaining mark and breadth in a selling wave. Um, that's a bit of a problem. So let's keep an eye on this. Um, and just keep in mind that we are still in this big, long downtrend here on market breadth. So we'll want to watch that carefully and closely. Then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar, we're going to want to be paying attention here before the market opens. There's a couple big numbers rolling out. We've got the GDP number rolling out that's been very very strong um, here recently but it is possible that the GDP number could come in so hot that um, it creates a reaction in the bonds so keep a close eye on that and by the way we do have bonds rallying um, this morning um, creating that little bit of inflation worry in the market so keep an eye on that we also have jobless claims pending home sales Petroleum, or I mean a um, natural gas report, I don't think that's going to have any kind of bearing on the market. And then later on today, we are going to um, get the Fed balance sheet. Um, but once again, um, you know, I keep mentioning this over and over and over. Um, nobody seems to care how much debt we put on. Um, adding $120 billion per month to our $7.8 trillion balance sheet already at the Fed. Um, uh, remarkable that it is not creating or raising eyebrows or creating any issues for the market, at least at the moment. So keep that in mind. Also keep in mind, um, we have um, personal incomes and outlays tomorrow, um, a little bit lighter day on that economic calendar. Then let's take a look at our earnings. Today is one of our biggest days of our earnings. And, and guys, there's no way I can cover all the stocks that are um, notable for today. So if you could do me a favor and click that link um, just below the title of the video, go back to the morning blog. I've listed those notable reports for today and um, you can catch the entire list. Now keep in mind um, this afternoon we have Amazon reporting after the bell. Amazon has been on a tear here lately heading into earnings. So let's keep an eye on that. Amazon's trying to lift on up even this morning as we head into that earnings report this afternoon. Watch for that. We also have Twitter um, that will be re reporting this afternoon. So keep an eye on that. This morning, we have heard from McDonald's. McDonald's beat on earnings, but there's another one of those um, earnings calendar candles where we beat on earnings and it's just kind of a ho-hum um, kind of reaction. So keep a close eye on that. That's already reported today. We've got Caterpillar reporting this morning. They're trying to move on up. That's certainly a big potential mover um, for the Dow. Take a look at Altria. Altria will be reporting today. Um, that might be important uh, to keep an eye on. We're going to hear from American Tower. Um, looks like that's trying to move up a little bit this morning. Nice potential buy pattern in here on that chart as well. We're going to hear from uh, Domino's Pizza. Uh, Domino's been very, very strong um, rallying heading into uh, the earnings and you can see a little bit of price action in that this morning moving around. We're going to hear from TAP. TAP this morning. TAP pushing up. Nice looking chart here potentially developing. Keep a close eye on tap. We're also going to hear from MasterCard. 
MasterCard and Visa have been very, very strong charts here recently, moving up even AXP, moving up very nicely. And it looks like we have just a bullish sentiment kind of all the way around um, in the market. So watch for these closely. So how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And then if you feel that the video is worthy, if it was helpful to you, please do me a favor and click that, uh, that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. Almost, it, it's almost as important as sub subscribing to um, hit those thumbs up buttons and, and react that way because um, that helps those algorithms show these videos to more folks. And um, I also want to ask you guys and, and, and encourage everyone, if you feel that the video is worthy, please share it on your other social media platforms. It helps the channel to continue to grow and we can reach more folks. And I just have to say a huge thank you to all the subscribers. Um, my goodness, we're, we're really uh, picking up here um, recently in those subscribers. Thank you so much, everyone. I, I truly, truly appreciate it. And also thank you to those folks who are supporting the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee. Um, obviously not required, but I certainly appreciate all that support and um, um, really, really want to say thank you to everyone who has been uh, taking the time to do that. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at some stock setting up here and realize that um, every time I post one of these stocks, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Um, everyone should be doing their own due diligence, making sure you're understanding the risk of every trade and you should never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea. Do your own evaluation of these charts. Let's take a look. One of the members of Rightway Options brought this chart to my attention yesterday. Beautiful, beautiful chart. Let's take a look at ERIC. ERIC. Nice little consolidation after breaking through. I want to pull this chart back on a weekly. This is a multi-year breakout um, in ERIC. And notice that we're consolidating and holding that level in here in a pretty concise way. As we slide out here toward trend, I would be watching for this um, opportunity to maybe pop on through. Keep a close eye on that. Nice looking chart overall, E-R-I-C, keep an eye on that. I think we should take a look at Pfizer. Now, I was trying to decide whether I wanted to buy Pfizer yesterday or not. I ended up not buying it, and one of the reasons is it's gonna report earnings on 5.4. But keep a close eye on it. This is a really nice pattern. Pfizer setting up here, that possible move, um, um, getting to um, maybe just the anticipation of earnings, pushing us up. So keep a close eye. I may still pick this up um, later on, but let, watch this close. I think we should also be keeping an eye on some steel with the $2 trillion proposed um, infrastructure plan out there. It looks like both sides are starting to work together a little bit on that infrastructure plan. And you can see steel um, looking pretty good. MT is one that I'm um, quite interested in at the moment. I'll be watching this one closely. But I also like um, STLD. I got to type it first. Um, <laughs> steel Dynamics, that's looking good. We have US Steel. Now US Steel um, um, reporting um, today, so you'll want to keep an eye on that. But U.S. Steel um, in there, um, Cleveland Cliffs um, might be something to keep an eye on. Speaking of infrastructure changes and infrastructure improvements, I think we should probably keep an eye on um, copper, FCX, FCX, breaking through some resistance here in this chart. Um, copper looking very, very strong here. Any rest or pullback in here would set up an opportunity uh, to maybe get long FCX if you're not already long. It's been very, very bullish as a chart. And then um, we might wanna keep an eye on some of the other precious metals. We saw um, silver have a little bit of a pullback yesterday, but it shot right back up and is holding in here. Now, 
rising bonds can have an effect on silver and gold. But let's keep a close eye on this. Silver looking good. And if you take a look at this pattern, this is holding above its 50 day moving average now. And if we can get that inspiration here on this, um, we could certainly see that moving higher. And then if you take a look at gold, gold has already broken through that 50 day moving average. It's been holding above it as support. And notice that that 50 day moving average is starting to flatten out and turn our shorter term averages have popped up through so this creates a pattern that we call a rounded bottom breakout where we're rounding out that bottom now the target for this is up here at the 200 day moving average now i that's not to say that we just shoot up there we teach this pattern um, in hit run candlesticks and right way options it was actually coined by um, my good buddy um, um, Rick Sadler, uh, this is his pattern. But I gotta tell you, um, it is a great pattern for trading and this is an interesting pattern here in GLD. So keep a close eye on that chart. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple others here. Um, one that I've been keeping an eye on is Masco. Take a look at this Masco. If we're gonna be doing a lot of um, infrastructure improvements and, and remember housing is really, really strong. Masco looking pretty good here in this little consolidating move. Watch to see if that can get some inspiration maybe to push on through just reported yesterday and we didn't have any um, major reaction to that but we'll want to watch it closely it looks like masco is showing a little bit of downside here this morning but just keep a close eye on it i also think it would be a really good idea to keep an eye on lululemon lulu notice this beautiful upside move we broke the downtrend we rallied up. You can see where my price alerts are in the chart. By the way, guys, anytime you see one of these pink lines on here, I highlight them pink like that just so that everyone can see that I have a price alert. I have been watching Lulu and look how nice and tightly this has been consolidating um, right here, which could give us a low risk entry point if this decides it wants to pop on through. So keep a close eye on that. Lulu looking pretty darn good. So there's a few charts for you to look at today, a few ideas that might be of interest to you. Hey, I want to wish you uh, all a fantastic day in your trading. I want to wish you great profits. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early Friday morning. Have a great day, everyone.